With all of Donald Trump's broken promises and his failures as a president, as a leader, as a dad, it might make you wonder what could he actually do that would cause his hardcore supporters to finally stop supporting him. And it turns out that for a significant chunk of the American public, there is nothing he could do that would result in that. Take a look at this statistic, 62% of people who approve of the job that Donald Trump is doing as president say they can't think of anything he could do that would cause them to lose their support according to a poll that came out just yesterday. Now, that's not 62% of the American public, that's of those who approve of him, which is like 40% of the country. So we're talking like 25%, like one out of four of the people you cross in the street, they, with whatever imagination they have, <laughs> can't imagine anything. That's depressing. This leads to the uh, to the thought about what he'd said before about he can do whatever he wants and they'll always support him. So much to the suggestive mind of so many voters, and all politicians do it, maybe not all, but many do it, where they'll tell the American people what it is that they believe and what they want, mm -hmm. instead of saying, hey, I talk to Americans, this is what they believe and this is what they want. You just suggest it to them, and then a significant percentage, in this case, 25% of his supporters at least, mm -hmm. um, or 62% of, 62 of, his, of, his, of his supporters, supporters yeah. believe so. so it works to a certain extent. Just say it, be like, you know what? I could do this and you're gonna support me. And a certain number of people will go, I yeah. will. Well, I and will. there was one example of that that you probably remember. That was the Fifth Avenue yeah. thing with the gun. Uh, that came up because um, CNN's New Day, uh, uh, Al is Allison Camerota? Yeah, Allison. yeah. So she was talking with uh, swing voters, uh, not people who might swing one way or the other, but people who live in areas that might swing one way or the other. And um, she talked with a woman named Crystal, and she said, Crystal, is there anything he could do that would make you not vote for him? She said, no. Camarota said, if he shot someone on Fifth Avenue, would you vote for him? <laughs> Another panelist jumped in, you'd have to know why he shot him. And Crystal said, yeah, why did he shoot him? And I'm left wondering, wait, yeah, why did he shoot him? What did he do? Uh, but anyway, yeah, so even with the prospect of this person being a cold-blooded murderer, that is not enough. And so I then thought, okay, well, perhaps we're a little bit more imaginative than some of these people who were polled. Um, what do we think? What do you guys who watch the damage report, what do you think he could do that would finally get through to this one out of four Americans? And we have some um, suggestions, let's evaluate them. Yeah. Thor Benson said, tank the economy or support abortion. J.R. Jackson, would either or both of those uh, result in finally getting through these people? Well, we're talking about which kind of tanking of the economy because the economy's tanking for most normal Americans. It's just so we just we go by the realm of what's Wall Street talking about? Mm -hmm. What are the rich doing? Are how's they, the stock is, market is, doing? Yeah, how's the stock market doing? How, how, stock market doesn't affect me and, and the large majority of Americans. So, um, in my opinion, he's already doing one of those. Um, but it's probably the maybe abortion. I want to say it, but they don't care. I mean, he did back in the day. That they didn't that didn't get through exactly. to them. Exactly. They don't care about children. They I don't, don't think care it about would. babies. I, I can't necessarily make a well-crafted argument about how he would get around that, but I don't think that that's core enough no, it's not. to their support. Because the same thing, you're talking about getting shot on Fifth Avenue and the lady jumped in or the other person jumped in and said, why did he shoot him? They'd go, well, why does he support abortion? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and also, um, like in, in terms of that area, the, the moral values Republicans, he fails on every other one of those measures. So mm -hmm. why would this be the one? In terms of tanking the economy, no, he would simply say it's the Democrats yeah, that did it, it's the media that did it. He's already trying to do that, he's already prepped for that. So I, I don't think about that. Abortion, maybe. Um, Bioallergical woman said, mm -hmm. uh, ban assault weapons and abolish ICE. She might, I think this one might be onto something. So if he were to ban assault weapons, if he were to do a Beto O'Rourke style gun buyback, a mandatory buyback, what about that? That one's tough. That I think one, that I might think, do it. That one I don't think they can get by. I don't think so. It's not that they support him only because they love guns. They could mm -hmm. support any Republican yeah. for that. But I think that the other the, the other reasons that they support him, we just had an interview where it was about um, anti-Muslim sentiment. And obviously there's some racism as well. That's not disconnected from wanting to be armed, yeah. I don't think. The basis of their reality would say he's been compromised, someone's got him. Oh my God, this isn't our Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. So they would withdraw their support, but it would still be with the condition of someone's made him do this. Yeah. Uh, so uh, Chicken Bone Watts said lose, and there were a lot of people who said if he were to lose, mm -hmm. uh, they will flee him like they fled Palin. What do you think about that? If you were to lose in 2020? Yeah. 
You think? I mean, there, I mean, they, there's, he's not in power anymore, so there's no more. Uh, of yeah, the support, it matters right? less. It's like, yeah, he's gone. I can't. They would still complain about what they've, what has been done to him. The media finally took him down mm -hmm. with those radical dims, you know, all that. Um, so that again, it was all based in conditions. Because what happens is they would leave him in some of these instances, but there, there needs to be some kind of a rationale in their head as to why they supported someone who would do this to them and flip. Yeah. something he did that someone else made him do. Made me lose my support for him. I, I think I think he would be a, a living martyr at that point. I think he would go do Trump TV. They would love that. They would attack the other Republicans for not defending him enough. They'd attack the Democrats. Obviously, I don't think that they would go away just because he lost. I, I mean, whenever you try to uh, imagine what would cause them to abandon him, they have to abandon him to go to something because these people mm -hmm. have now tasted the sweet sweet juice of culthood, <laughs> and um, you can't just all of a sudden just go back to like. Oh, I'm I'm a person who gardens. That's not going to be right. enough for these people, I don't think. There has to be something, which is why I think we should be looking for who is the Republican who is going to try to set himself up as the one to take over. There's a lot that think they are. Ted Cruz definitely thinks that. I don't think Ted Cruz has it. He doesn't have that juice when it comes to the culthood. Some people um, they don't like Ted Cruz. Exactly. Some people also jumping ahead said if he were to die, no, I think that they will talk oh. about him. Oh. You think that they held on to Reagan's ghost for a long time? You're gonna be hearing about Donald Trump from Republicans for a long, long time. Martyrdom is exactly what they would be looking for in that yeah. instance. Is there anything else that you think would do it? Um, man. I mean, from that interview, I would now say, Jeez. like, and some people suggested, There's what if he were to befriend Ilhan Omar? I think that if he were to, but honestly, I don't know, we had that crazy crystal globe party with the Saudis. Like, oh, that's I, right. I think that that might do it if he were to, like, Really substantively renounce white supremacy, white nationalism, Christian supremacy. That could potentially break through because that's what's really core to the entire thing is that I, the, the identity politics of white resentment. Yeah, because that's that's always been the driving factor, as you mentioned before in the last interview. Um, the, the the lie that it's about you know supporting the little man. Yeah. Oh, so not and the reason. Anxiety. So the real reason is because of the supremacy nature of his candidacy and his how he's going to stick it to everyone else that doesn't like him. Um, once that's gone, yeah, the, yeah. The, the, the the shine, the glow is gone. I think so. <coughs> uh, so I, I had tweeted you guys, uh, what do you think would do it? And apparently this is something that people have a lot of thoughts on because there were one and a half thousand responses. So just in case we missed any areas, feel free if you're watching this on YouTube to go down in the comments and uh, what do you think would cause them to finally abandon Trump? For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.